Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're heading to Veradero, Cuba. From Regina, Saskatchewan, Cuba is about four hours and a half direct flight As you can see, we are picked up by the bus here to bring us to our hotels. Hotels are all inclusive, including our airlines. So upon arrival, an agent will be waiting outside providing your hotel information and your bus number. You can just find your bus and hop in, and here we go. The drive from the airport to your hotel, this time we booked Memories Varadero, is about an hour drive. It would only take us about 20 to 25 minutes drive if we took a private vehicle or a taxi. But because it's a bus, it has to stop on the other hotels. We didn't really mind a drive because the view was really nice. Here we are! We arrived! We're so happy to be here. Just checked in and now we will be dropped off to our room. Located in one of the most beautiful beaches of Varadero, Memories Varadero Beach Resort is the ideal destination for a family vacation. So tonight, we actually are going to a beach party! It was a really fun first night for us, that's for sure. Good morning, Zephaniah and Dad. First day off to breakfast. <laughs> The hotel is a very big place. It's an H shape and there's a lot of walking to do. So mind you, you should bring a proper shoes or footwear to go in this place because your feet's gonna hurt after a day or two, that's for sure. So we were in the room 31 which is part of the Diamond Club packages and newer renovated rooms. So it's been quite a long walk from our room to the buffet and the breakfast. But you know, we don't mind it. We need to walk before we eat and then we have to walk again after. Buenos dias! Hola! This is part of their lobby. At the end of this video, I will give you more tours around the area. But for now, we're just gonna head to our breakfast. So after here, we straight to the beach. 
for our first day beach experience. This is one of the bars located right on the beach. So if you need drinks, any kind of drinks, you can just go there and ask for them to make it. There's a few locals around this area that would ask you to braid your hair and it's $20 or maybe more for other people Come on, let's um, go. and yeah I experienced it. So in this hotel, you can actually choose three a la carte restaurants. There's a Japanese wine, Creole, Cuban, Italian, and Mexican cuisine. So tonight, we're having a Cuban experience. For those looking for an exclusive vacation experience, they offer a Diamond Club package with premium amenities and services. Guests of the Diamond Club can also enjoy the Italian restaurants on lunchtime without booking anything. So for our second day, I start with our buffet. This is the breakfast buffet. Then the kids decided to go back to the pool. This is eight in the morning, guys. It's a little chilly for sure. They offer kids club here too. So today they're doing a dart game. Also, the animation team also have some aquatic exercises in some time of the day where you can actually join or do whatever you like. That building behind is the kids club building. So tonight's schedule is a Cuban night. being a little bit chilly that day, we decided to hop in into the Varadero downtown. 
You can rent your own private vehicle or a taxi, or you can just hop in on this one of these buses and sit down on the upper deck for $5 each. The tourist area of Varadero is somewhat different from the general Cuban style. It rather resembles the California summer resort areas, and to a lesser extent, the Canary Islands. The main change have built luxurious, all-inclusive hotels on the beach, equipped to satisfy any desire you may have. This is my favorite part of the Varadero downtown tour. The pina colada! My favorite! I'm sure glad my kids love to walk. Because there's a lot of walking in downtown, but there's also lots to see. You can hire one of these. So they can drop you wherever you go in downtown or maybe tour you around too. Cuba is a home of old vehicles. When I say old, it's like 1927 Ford here. <laughs> So we hired this vehicle from downtown Varadero to our hotel for $20. When we went back to our hotel, the kids have some practice to do for their performance of the night, which is the Christmas Eve.
As I promised earlier on this video, I will tour you around on the front part of the hotel. So here we are, this is the, the lobby area. That is the check-in counter right there and this is their customer service table. It's one of the bars in this lobby. And that another corner there is another bar. So this first door here is where you change your money to Cuban peso. That's the salon. And this is a store where you can purchase some of your shampoos or other necessities. There's also a board where you can look at the schedule for what is the event tonight and activities for the children. Today is a very exciting day with our friend Hezbiel here, which is our tour guide. We're heading to Havana. For me, Havana is a city trapped in time. It captures the imagination like no other. Faded glamour meets careful colonial era reconstruction with a backdrop of irresistible color. Walk El Malacan, the walkway bordering the ocean. Visit Old Havana and the Cathedral de San Cristobal and listen for some salsa music, open air bazaars, and parties that last all night long. Old Havana, which is defined by the extent of the former city walls, has maintained a pattern of the early urban setting with its five large plazas. Plaza de Armas, Plaza Vieja, Plaza de San Francisco, Plaza del Cristo, and Plaza de la Catedral. is also very famous with their cigars and this is one of the shops that you can buy them. So for supper tonight, we have an experience of Japanese restaurant. We're so blessed to experience Christmas and New Year's Eve here. And it was such a great experience with such abundance of food, people, Cuban nice people and friendships. And I guess this is the end of our video. Thanks for watching and see you again next time on our next vacation. Bye!